Hi, we're here at the Extend Nutrition Headquarters. We're going to tell you how to lower your A1C level. So first, what is an A1C level? A1C is the measure of your average blood sugar levels over the previous three months. The way they do that is a blood test. And what that blood test tells them is about where your blood sugar is on average. What does that mean? Well, every day your blood sugar rises and it falls, and it rises and it falls. When you're eating, it's on the rise because everything we eat eventually turns into blood sugar. When your body uses the energy, you're on the fall. For people with diabetes, you can also take medication to help lower your blood sugar level. What an average blood sugar level is, is right down the middle of whatever all these highs and lows are. So your average A1C might be something like a 6.5 and that's how they're going to express that. So. At any one time, if I do a finger test, that's just going to tell me this one day, at that one time, what is my blood sugar. And this one day, at that time, what is my blood sugar. Those are individual blood sugar readings. The average over time is called your A1C. Now there are a couple numbers to be aware of. You can get your A1C done at an endocrinologist or at your regular doctor, your internist. You will want to work with a doctor if you're experiencing any symptoms of diabetes or having blood sugar control issues. They make a diagnosis of diabetes when your A1C level is at this 6.5 or above. That's a good indicator that you might have diabetes, either type 1 or type 2. It's something you're going to want to get looked at because the goal is actually going to be below 5.7 is going to be our goal for a healthy A1C level. Now, if you're between these two numbers, that's something we call pre-diabetic. Again, this is something you can work with with your doctor. So that's just a very brief overview of what the A1C level is. Now, what I'd like to also show you are some snacks you can eat to help lower your A1C over time. Just as all food eventually turns into blood sugar, you want to choose foods that will have a positive impact on your blood sugar levels. So here, what I have is the line of Extend Nutrition Snacks protein bars, some crunchy snacks with a drizzle, we have protein shakes, and we have Extend Crisps. And what I want to show you today is just how easy it can be to mix up a protein shake and have a healthy snack that will also lower your A1C over time. So the idea here is to eat one to two of these snacks every day over a long period of time that's going to improve your average control of blood sugar. To make a shake it's pretty simple. We have a blender bottle, you can buy this off our website, extendbar.com. I'm going to take my blender bottle, I start by pouring water in there, you can use milk, almond milk, soy milk, any liquid of your choice. All of our, pack all of our products come in individual packages, so this shake I just open up, pour the powder on in there, I discarded this, if I had a trash I would have used it. Screw on the lid to my blender bottle, this you do want to make sure you get on there nice and tight because if you start shaking before it's on they will end up with a mess, but now it's on there tight. You shake it up like this, and this is actually a really convenient way. You can take this to go. I usually keep a shake actually in my golf bag or my glove compartment. It's a good travel snack. That's pretty much it. You just want to shake it until you get the clumps out. Now this snack itself, it's a shake, protein shake. It's actually going to help to stabilize blood sugar levels for six to nine hours. And that's exactly what Extend Nutrition does. So if you're looking to lower your A1C, a good place to start is by eating healthier snacks made by Extend Nutrition. Cheers.